It is Tuesday morning. I'm headed to meet Mike to do some hill repeats with the vest. Feeling good, feeling good this morning. I hope you guys are doing well. I took yesterday off after a big weekend of training. Get some recovery in. It's always hard taking a day off. You wanna be working out when you're really motivated, but you need the rest. Recovery is key. I've been on a kick to share a bunch of tips with you guys. One tip that doesn't need an entire video, but something I always do is get all of my stuff ready for whatever I'm doing the following day before I go to bed. So if I'm going swimming, all of my swim stuff is ready. It's in the bathroom. If I'm going running, I get my shorts, my socks, my shirt, everything in there, my hat, my watch, it's all in the bathroom. So when I get up, I go straight in there and I get ready. No fumbling around in the dark, no trying to find things. Today, I'm headed out to go do the run in the hills with the vest. So the vest is in the car. My shoes are here. My GoPro, my light, everything is ready to roll. It's all set up already, so there is no messing around. Efficiency is key to getting to my workouts on time and just making the mornings go much easier. But it is 4.46 in the morning, time to get on the road. All right, we've got 60 minutes on deck. Hill repeats, half mile up. We only go a quarter mile. Quarter mile, <laughs> quarter mile, quarter mile, mile turn there. around, quarter mile back down. Be repeating this for 60 minutes. Got a vest on, 10 pounds today. All right, 15 seconds up the hill, as fast as you can, running. 45 seconds to recover, repeat till we get to the top. Whew. I am glad that is over. That was uh, 3.7 miles, just over an hour, about an hour and five minutes. We did seven or eight repeats, all with the vest. After a few, we started doing repeats on the clock, 20 seconds on, a minute 30 off, then um, 15 seconds on, a minute off, and then ended with 15 seconds on, 45 off. So running and then walking. I am spent, that is rough. The 10 pound vest makes all the difference in the world. It is Wednesday morning and I'm at the pool to get a swim in and after the swim, I'm gonna hit a run. That was 1,200 yards, felt pretty good. Got uh, quite a few 200s in there. I'm trying to slowly up my distance on my individual laps. So instead of doing just 50 and 100s, starting to put some 200s in there and they are feeling easier and easier. Now it is time for a It's Thursday morning. You probably hear fan noise in the background. I've got the fan going. I am about to hop on the trainer and get a ride in.
Well, that is it for Thursday. I am done 23 miles, average 21.2 miles per hour for just over an hour riding. <sighs> Tired and someone came to visit. Time for a shower and some breakfast. It is 4.15 Saturday morning. I'm headed to pick up Johnny. We are headed to Mount Baldy. Gonna hit the summit, 10,000 feet. It's early, had to get up at 3.30 in the morning. It is a busy day. Gotta be back by 9.30. Headed to the company picnic, which is always fun. The kids love it. But then from there, gotta drop the kids off and headed to a birthday party. It's gonna be a late night. I'm gonna be really sleepy. It's gonna require a lot of coffee today. Morning, morning. Morning, morning. We are just about halfway, or maybe a little more, two and a half miles in. We have made it to the cabin. There is the bowl. We'll go here and make our way all the way up the ridge to the top. Good today, making good time. When I was here in December, this is the place just up here where we had to turn around because we didn't have any crampons and there was so much snow and ice. We couldn't, we could have made it up, but it would have been really dicey coming down. It's much windier today. The camera's probably got tons of noise. It is colder as well. Sunday afternoon. Unfortunately, I did not record an ending to the Mount Baldy run about a mile and a half out from the end. I rolled my ankle. It's pretty technical. As you can see from the video, there are a lot of rocks. I rolled my left ankle. It hurt pretty bad. I was able to keep going on it, but by the time I got back to the car and drove home, I was in a lot of pain. It swelled up. It does have a little bruising and I had to be on it for the company picnic. So that was uh, a little hard, but the kids had a great time playing, getting their face painted, going on different rides, eating lots of food. And then we had a great time at Marwan's birthday. Happy birthday. His birthday was a couple weeks ago, but we had a great time going out and hanging out with friends. Today, Sunday, uh, I've just been relaxing. I've iced the leg. I actually started to feel like I was catching a cold Saturday night. So uh, today I've just been uh, kind of tired and feeling like I'm fighting a little bit of congestion. So I'm just going to take it easy. I am taking some airborne, some vitamin C, some vitamin D, just uh, lots of fluids and icing the leg. So not much happening today, no training today. I thought I'd get a swim and a bike, but that did not happen. So I am probably going to be out for a couple days after this, hopefully back to training maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Otherwise, it was a successful week. I haven't rolled my ankle in a really long time. Hopefully this goes away quickly. I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for all of the support, comments, thumbs up, subscriptions. We keep inching up on those subscriptions about to break 6,400. So if you haven't subscribed, help the channel out, help me out, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Otherwise, 
I'm gonna recover. You guys have a great week. See you next week.